Today we will remember my friend, the late Congresswoman Julia Carson. Her accomplishments are well known, the first African-American woman in the Indiana State Senate elected in 1976. She served with great distinction. In 1996, she was elected to the United States House of Representatives. I asked the sculptor this morning how he chose the image of the bus that we will see for the first time in this place today. I said, I hope it was smiling. He told me it was, because I never saw her without a smile. And you can listen to some of her former colleagues who served with her in this very institution uh, who can attest to the fact that Congresswoman Carson was universal. Even as a state rep, even as a state senator, she was able to reach across the aisles and work with Republicans to get effective legislation passed. I founded the uh, Julia Carson Legacy of Love Foundation in 2009 to uh, continue the legacy of my mother's work. One thing I learned from her is to find out, don't try to reinvent anything. Find out who's doing what, who's doing it well. She welcomed people into our home regularly. When AIDS was such a taboo subject in the mid 80s, she had folks staying with us temporarily who suffered from this disease at a time when people didn't think you should even shake a person who had AIDS hand. Her legacy is about bringing people together. And her legacy is about being very passionate about the truth that you stand on. Whatever her challenges were, and she had physical challenges as time went on, every time I asked her how she was, she said, I'm blessed by the best. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we'll ask uh, John Hare to unveil the bus of Julia Carson. I had the great privilege of, of serving with uh, the late Congresswoman Julia Carson in the Congress. And uh, while we didn't uh, always agree on every issue, uh, we, we were very fond of one another. She had a spirit about her that I think is wonderfully well captured uh, in, this, uh, in this sculpture that will adorn our, our state capitol now for generations.